Hi guys, thought I'd make a really short video just to take you through uh, what I'm getting up to in the few days before I go on tour. So I'm going on tour for about six weeks with a really great group of guitarists. I fly to Germany and then our first concert is in um, the Netherlands and then we have a few concerts in the Netherlands and then we go all the way through Germany, loads of concerts in Germany and then we end in Austria. So yeah, it's about six weeks and I've never been away for that long, uh, never done a proper tour like that, so I'm really looking forward to it. Kind of daunting, and I don't really know like how I'm supposed to prepare for it, so I've just been like panic buying things and like trying to see people before I leave. I've literally been acting like I'm going away for a year, it's been pathetic. And yeah, I'm also really excited about the fact, and this is going to sound quite sad to people who don't play guitar, but um, I currently have no false nails on my hand. No false nails. Um, for the first time in about 12 years, uh, yeah, there's never been a point in the past 12 years that I haven't played with a false nail, at least one. So I'm gonna try to keep it that way. It feels like quite a momentous moment, like I almost bought myself a cake to celebrate yesterday. Um, well I did, but I'm just hoping that it can stay that way so that like I'd... Let's just pretend the cat isn't on the worktop. Um, one thing I've hated about wearing false nails is the fear that like when I'm playing in a concert, one's just gonna like pop off and hit the person on the front row. Cause that, oh, it's gross. I don't trust myself not to break a nail in six weeks of traveling, but um, you know, we'll see what happens. So as pointless as this video probably seems, um, I kind of made a pact to myself that I was gonna try and vlog as much of the tour as possible, just because it's like my first experience doing that. And hopefully it'll be interesting. We'll see some really nice places. Um, so I thought I'd kind of hop on here a few days before I go on the tour and then I can kind of watch it back afterwards and be like, what the hell was I thinking? Why was I spending all my time buying crap from Amazon? Including these, uh, fingerless gloves, which I am very excited about. So I have really bad circulation. My fingers just go numb, go cold in like any scenario, any environment. And that's not great when your career relies on your fingers. So. Um, yeah, I bought some fingerless gloves. I'm planning not to wear them on stage because I don't think I have like an outfit that would really go with these. Hopefully these are gonna help. It's probably the best like four pounds uh, I've ever spent. So today I'm teaching for a couple of hours. Um, I have some recording to do. I have some editing, like annotation-y things to do, some planning to do for a live stream. And yeah, the next few minutes are probably just gonna be like boring clips of me doing those things, but you know, content. <laughs> absolutely freezing in my apartment. And to avoid putting the heating on, I'm sat here with a bright pink heat cushion. I've had like probably about six shots of espresso this morning. So um, yeah, I don't think that's really done me good. I've got a really bad headache. <laughs> I'm trying to edit something on Logic, which um, isn't the best thing to do when you've got a headache is just stare at a screen. So I might go for a walk. Oh, I don't know. It's cold outside and I don't have time. At the moment, I'm just trying to sort out loads of like things that I should have sorted out ages ago um, and that I definitely won't be able to do on tour. So yeah, that's that's why I'm kind of like, oh, at the moment. I've also made a point of literally going and seeing every single person I know because for some reason my brain's like, you're not gonna see them in so long. And in reality, I probably haven't seen most of them in over six or eight weeks anyway. And I'm only going away for like five and a half weeks. <laughs> But yeah, I need to like get practicing. I also had a concert on Thursday uh, in Manchester. So that was a really nice, nice kind of little start to the tour, I guess. Um, but the proper tour tour starts, well, today's Sunday and I go on Wednesday. So yeah, today's kind of just been spent, like I said before, like I was teaching, um, planned to do some recording, but I'm not sure whether I will, um, cause I've still got some other recording to edit. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a bit of practice. I'm gonna try and keep warm because it is so cold and I'm trying to avoid putting the heating on because it's extortionate. And Sadie keeps mithering me to play with her. So probably gonna to have to do that because I won't get to play with her for about six weeks. Also, like I was saying before, look at my nails. All my own nails. But yeah, this one has had a false nail on it since I was probably about 13. Um, 
So yeah, that's why it looks a little bit grim on top, but it's getting there. So fingers crossed that, yeah, that I don't break any on tour, which is definitely bound to happen, isn't it? I mean, I literally break nails doing anything, so. So forgive the mess, but I'm supposed to be filming a video now. With this desk, like using this desk, and the cat's made it her mission to not let that happen. Also, can we just appreciate how strange animals look sat on glass tables? <laughs> look how comfy she looks. You can't stay there. So this is the setting of the video that I'm about to film. It's all very professional. My light is literally placed on the sofa. Okay, so I think I've got everything set. I'm about to start filming. It took me way too long to set it all up, even though it's like literally my living room. Um, so yeah, I've just gotta make sure that Sadie doesn't like knock the camera over because it's literally lent on a candle. Cool, right, hopefully it'll go okay. So, finished filming. <laughs> I then went out for pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna get some sleep and Tomorrow is Monday. Yeah, it is Monday. I've got a meeting in the morning and then need to do some practice. Got a live stream in the evening. Also got a dentist appointment because I choose really, really great days for appointments, like two days before I go away. So um, yeah, see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. So it's Monday? Monday, yes. Okay, so I go away on Wednesday. I keep thinking I go away on Tuesday, so this morning I woke up literally like petrified that, oh my God, I'm going tomorrow and I've not packed or started packing or thinking about what I'm gonna pack. So I'm gonna go out, grab a coffee, do some work, and then um, have a dentist appointment. And then I need to come back, practice, prep for the live stream, and then I'm doing a live stream with Tone Base this evening. Um, and yeah, that takes me up to like, 8 p.m. Welcome, Alex. It's Hello. it's great to have you here in Tombase, and thank you so much for uh, bringing your you know your your expertise and your uh, your secrets, hopefully, uh, about Francisco Targa's Capricho Arabe. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's um it's really nice to be back. Uh, yeah, I've only done one like live stream before with Tombase, and it was more of a talking one. So everybody's probably sick of my voice already, but. <laughs> So I haven't really filmed much um, the past couple of days just because it's been so hectic trying to get everything together um, for the tour and just for going away and just literally, oh God, that's bright. Just like prepping to be away for about six weeks. So I just didn't realize how much, uh, how much time it would take to like actually prep for that. And I would say prep, I haven't actually started packing yet and I go tomorrow um, and it's currently like 5 p.m. the day before. So I'm not actually taking my guitar tomorrow either and I need to make sure that I don't just pick it up and take it anyway out of habit because I'm having a guitar shipped there to Germany um, along with the case and everything so yeah I really really need to make sure that I don't just take mine because I haven't actually booked it in on the plane but that's basically because for this tour I need to play a guitar with like a pickup in it um, and mine doesn't have a pickup but it's gonna feel like insanely weird not traveling with a guitar so I need to make sure that I don't take it. I've had like an abundance of online meetings uh, this afternoon, like four, just because I wanted to like get everything together before I go away. So yeah, I've not had time to pack. I haven't really had much time to play. Anyway, this is the, um, yeah, this is the packing situation at the moment. Let me see if I can. How do you pack for six weeks? Somebody help. I have six lots of guitar strings. Am I really gonna be changing them that much? Probably not. This has made me realize how many different colored trousers I have. No, please don't do that. Oh. Okay, so I have packed, oh god, I've packed kind of like half of my things. I'm just, oh my god, I can't open this. Um, I made a stir fry about two days ago. 
I'm gonna finish that off because I will show you the state of my fridge. So it's quite a sorry sight. So I'm gonna finish off this delicious looking stir fry. Um, I mean, it, it really does look great. I was gonna order myself a takeaway tonight and then realize that I had stuff in the fridge that really, really um, needs eating. I've just finished packing. Oh, oh my God, that's so heavy. And it's the moment of truth. So I'm gonna weigh it and let's hope it's within limits. Sadie's having a really great time. She's clearly gonna miss me. So I've got 20 kilos to work with. So place your bets. I'm gonna say it's 25 at the moment. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's under 20. Jeez, okay. This is like a really bad luggage scale, but it's an optimistic luggage scale. So I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so I'm all packed. Uh, finally, definitely left that to the last minute, but Thanks for watching and yeah, next video will be of the actual tour. Yeah, looking forward to it, it's gonna be good. Hopefully I can get me and my suitcase to the right place at the right time. We'll see.